Hi, people. Hey, Instagram family. Whoever sees this, this is meant to be for you. My name is Angelo77. <laughs> and um, this is a message, a collective reading. I prepared a pile for the energy till Sunday. So I'm going to try doing weeklies as a video form on Instagram. But I was something I will talk about in my story. This is now about your energy till Sunday, the collective for the woke people. For anyone who needs something, like some clarity, some whatever is going on in your reality, this is why I'm here right now with you sharing this now momentum. Having a great energy exchange, okay. So I want to just like start now with the cards that I pulled. I am drawn to the energy oracle cards. Goddess of the Moon. And um, carrying connections in reverse. I feel like this is also, uh, whew, um, with the goddess of the moon, this talks basically about your intuition, your inner knowledge, your inner feelings, your emotions. My left ear just started ringing when I, s I said inner knowledge. I, I see the high priest when I, look this, when I look at this card. And carrying connections is everything about where you have a connection to. If it's about to having a connection towards food, relationships, towards people in your life... This is something where you need to tap more into your inner knowing, into your inner feeling, into listening to your emotions. Because as always we know, our emotions are a guideline. They are an indicator of what, why we are going through things or why we are feeling the way we do. It's not about being them or identifying with, the, with them or being stuck in them. It's more about understanding them and learning from them, using them as a direction. I see here with the Psychic Tarot card, Mental Conflict, Two of Swords. There's a lot of insecurities in your head going on right now um, or till Sunday, where like in your now momentum, okay? And your intuition here is as well very heightened. There's like this inner, like, this is the High Priest, okay? This is, um, by the way, also Angel Number 22. So if you've been seeing t Angel Number 22, this is the actual meaning of that number, okay? It's confirming you that whatever you're feeling towards this connection or those connections or this special connection to the, towards the substance, towards food, towards um, this person, towards yourself, whatever, is, whatever you're picking up is like you maybe don't know if this is actually you tripping around and you being like overreacting or overwhelmed or... Um, overthinking right but this is actually you tapping into your higher knowledge okay into the akashic records into the collective consciousness you tapping into a higher reach of wisdom into a higher frequency of knowledge and this is like your ego tripping around and being like you're overreacting or you're like over thinking and whatever because maybe in your past you had those kind of momentum where you spoke up because you were like intuitively driven and called to share this information with this significant other but then you were like gaslighted or you experienced some trauma or some abuse or whatever and that's why you're like a little bit conditioned in a way and they tell me now to use the tarot cards a little bit conditioned in a way where you you know, like being push-pull, always like in this mental conflict. Am I tripping around? Am I actually feeling the right thing? Is this really the right direction? What is like happening? Why do I feel that way? Why feel I, Why do I feel so insecure? There's like root chakra here, red colors. The root chakra is all about you being secure and feeling grounded and secure in what you're like, and what is happening in the earth plane for you and what is happening in your physical reality you being grounded and standing on your two feet and knowing like exactly okay this is what i feel this is what i pick up and this is the, the direction that i want to move forward to with those with those things that i indicated with those things that i observed and witnessed about myself like the, your intuition is very heightened and very sensitive and there's this big call for you to tap into that. Even with the goddess of the moon, the 52, 5 is all about challenges, changes and 2 is all about your feminine energy, your yin energy, being reflective, intuitive, thoughtful, compassionate, kind, in, um, aware, woke, resting. Yeah, the page of Vance in reverse. 
and um, the three of pentacles. I feel like in regards to your inner fire, I hear it in regards to your masculine energy because like Page of Vents is someone very, he's enthusiastic, optimistic, he's very happy, joyful, and he's connected to, um, to this vision, to this bigger picture, and he puts things into action. And I feel like maybe there's some, I don't want to say loss or disconnection happening because we're never disconnected, you're never disconnected to the world, to source, to universe, never ever, never even think about that. Because this is our ego trying to get into our way. It's like, just like, I think, um, rather than, you know, like, give me a second. <laughs> what is happening here? Mm. I think you need to, you need to start and giving permission to trust whatever you pick up. Because here, the Page of Vans, there is a spirit guide here. There is like something like an angel. And he's connected to that page here. He's connected to, to this bigger vision. Or to this vision in general. To this bigger picture. And he's very grounded with that. You know? And there is this vision. He knows exactly how to get there without rushing. Without being in a rush. And having so much compassion for himself. You know, like not feeling angry or mad just because, and this is something I talked about my yesterday's message, just because the the quantity is not like the way we would want to, we would wish to, we would actually expect to in the way of how our ego talks sometimes to us. You know, like, oh, like you have so many ideas and so many visions, but what did you do today? And you actually made some steps forward, though the ego is just like, trying to push us down and being like more like the wounded parts of our ego right the shadow aspect of our ego is like you didn't do this and you couldn't do that and blah 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 and like the same old story and it's like what is calling for you is don't be so much into this like don't be so much comparing your now with your future vision Okay, it's good to have this connection to the future, which it's important because it's necessary to have a. It's necessary to see where you can get or where you can go or where you can move towards to and what kind of reality, so you can become inspired and creative and put things into action. But what's not good is to compare your now constantly with your future reality and be like in this mental energy of loss and not being there already and um you know like hating yourself because you couldn't do the steps forward you would actually wanted to do you know it's like try to have very very as much compassion as you can with yourself and your process and um Maybe there is a fire sign for the one or the other here with the page of vans. But I feel like this is more talking about your inner fire. Take time to breathe, angel message. Take time to breathe. Be more in your feminine. Be more in your yin energy. Have and hold space for yourself. This is a very strong message coming through. And this is like happening or this has happened the last few weeks as well. Like holding space for ourselves. Because there's like a lot of things happening in the collective. But the mental conflict that you have, I think it's in regards towards yourself. The, in regards towards the connection and relationship towards yourself. And the relationship that you have with your future self. Very important. The relationship, the connection that you have with your future vision. And how you treat yourself in regards to this relationship. Are you your own abuser? And be like, oh, you couldn't do this and this and that and this? Or are you like more your own supporter? This is a very strong message that comes through here. Um, archetype cards. Child. Magical. Light attributes. Yeah, like, look how she holds compassion for herself. Very beautiful. And here it says, seeing the potential for sacred beauty in all things, the belief that everything is possible. So no matter how many steps you make forward or how much you compare your steps forward in with your wounded parts of your ego and be like, oh, those are so little steps. Don't be afraid. Not at all. Just like see how beautiful this one little step 
is and how much you like you know like how much everything's unfolding in magical ways like i feel you guys have so many ideas and you want to rush moving forward but spirit is actually wanting you to let that sink in you know like embrace that and just like enjoy 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 in bliss have bliss in the steps forward you make. It's not about riding the bike just like in one day and being like, oh, I can ride the bike without any help. It's more about like falling down and, you know, taking that bike again and continuing to drive or having like someone who pushes you or holds you behind your back, like your guides or whatever you believe in and enjoying, allowing yourself, giving yourself permission the priest facilitates spiritual commitments, serves as a channel of spiritual energy. So even here, it's um, we all are channels, okay? We all have the connection to source. We never disconnect. We always are connected. Especially if you're seeing this right now, you're always connected. Never doubt that. Never fear that. Never worry about that. No matter how um, lost you feel it's perfectly designed for your highest good just make the steps forward and put as best as you can the things into action and try to be for yourself also this channel that just like knows exactly okay like I'm connected to the bigger picture it's part of the bigger picture what is my intuition giving me where can where can I take this next step forward and um, loving yourself by doing that and here's the servant okay so I feel like and it came in reverse for this one there is a shadow attribute of the servant and this is talking about using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with life and I feel like there might be even possibilities happening for you guys where you can work as a channel for whatever like you know, like being a chat or being connected to source doesn't mean that you have to get yourself now tarot cards and help people with tarot cards and being like psychic and blah, blah. It's, it's not always about that. Being a spiritual teacher or someone who has spiritual gifts, it's also about what are your gifts? What are your skills? Are you like in interested and in, uh, are you so interested in nutrition and cooking and baking, maybe in combination with like raw vegan stuff or something that brings a lot of joy and bliss and is all about like the act of service then start writing your book are you like someone who wants to enlighten other people with your wisdom with your teachings like with the experience that you have made in your lifetime write a book talk about it get yourself a camera start speaking about there are like so many people who want and need and are waiting and welcoming your energy and what you have to spread as wisdom being a yoga teacher, becoming a yoga teacher, becoming someone who dances, sings, paints, draws, being a comedian, being a speaker, communicator. There's like so many things that you can create through being this channel to source because source is just like love and high vibrating energy. It's not about always like wanting to heal others, healing others and like being a service like to others and wanting to let them know what their fortune is bringing and their energy and where they have like need to see the bigger picture. Of course, if you feel aligned with that, go for it. But being a channel means simply just like being connected to this inspirational source of constantly co-creating and creating being a creator being like god or a goddess and putting your energetic footprint out to the world with the tools that you have a brush paintings colors canvas um you moving your body in a graceful way with the music in the background you singing songs writing lyrics this is all source energy coming through you to the world and this is how you help heal others as well. Not just like directly healing them, more just like triggering something within them so they can start seeing in their own light. Okay, um, thank you so much. If you stuck here to this video, uh, 
thanks. I will definitely try to do more of those kind of videos, at maybe like weeklies, but let me know how you feel. You can also book me for personal reading on my Etsy shop. Uh, yeah, and you can see the cards rather than my face and just like become like getting activations or whatever me as a channel feels like call to share with you <sighs> um yeah thank you so much i send you love and light a big 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 hug and let me please know how you feel bye